Hi, I'm Karthik. Today I'm going to teach you how to format the background in Microsoft Publisher 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to format the background in Microsoft Publisher 2010. Open Microsoft Publisher 2010, which will takes you to the backstage view. You just click any of the specification like blank 8.5. So this is a UI where you can able to see this is a quick access toolbar. Once again, I repeat, this is a quick access toolbar. This is a title bar where the default name will be publication one, and these are menus like file, home, insert, page design, mailing, review, and view. Once again, repeat the menus: file, home, insert, page design, mailing, review, and view. And this is a ribbon where we can minimize or maximize the ribbon. And these are called rulers, horizontal and vertical rulers. And this is a vertical scroll bar. So this is a zoom control. find the background you just click the background where you can able to see no background solid background gradient background if you want to apply the solid background choose any of the background by clicking it okay or else if you want to apply gradient background yes you can select any of the gradient background just by clicking it If you want to remove the background, click background and click no background. Okay, and no background. So click once again, click background. Go to more background where we can able to see fill effects which consists of gradient, texture, pattern, picture. You can able to select any of these options by clicking the corresponding radio button. So one color you can apply one color. If you click two colors, you are allowed to apply two colors and presets. So either you can able to select the predefined presets. Next, moving to shading styles, it may be in horizontal or in vertical, diagonal up, diagonal down. From corner, from center, and select any of these options and click OK to apply this option. Once again, click background. Go to more background, and next texture. Okay, where you can able to see a predefined or available texture. You can select any of this texture by clicking it. Or else, if you have other texture, you can locate the other texture by using this dialog box. Or if you want to apply the existing texture, you just click and press OK. Okay. Then once again, go to background and go to more background. And next comes patterns. You can select the foreground color. background color as well as you can select any of this pattern if you want to apply this pattern to the current background click okay so the pattern will be applied and once again go to background and go to more background and go to picture if you want to insert a picture you just select the picture
corresponding picture will be applied as a background. Once again, background, more background, tint. Tint is nothing but uh, giving more color. Okay, where you can able to create uh, a base color. difference in colors and pick up and if you want to remove this no background will remove this and you can save the, your work by going to file using savers and give the name and save it or else go to file and send either you can use any of this option like send using email email preview change file type create pdf or xps document publish html save to commercial printers or save for another computer so these are the various options where you can able to use i think you may enjoy this video thanks for watching this video thank you